Hello friends, welcome to US IT recruitment. Here uh, we'll have quick uh, session for like uh, how, if I'm a .NET developer, how I'll apply the jobs using LinkedIn. Here are three ways I'm just telling you in the starting. One is applying through job sections plus easy apply. Second is job section without easy apply. Third is like searching jobs in the post section and taking their, uh, extracting their email IDs and sending them to resume. So quickly we'll go through with that and you can uh, like uh, learn about those things, how it goes. So here is quick method one, uh, two Gmail IDs are logged in. So one Gmail ID candidate has made just for applying jobs in the LinkedIn. Using that Gmail ID only he is going to create uh, one uh, pseudo LinkedIn or like his first LinkedIn is not working. So that's why he is making second LinkedIn page. So here you can see like uh, quick uh, steps are going on when Gmail ID is created and now LinkedIn is going to be made. And here like uh, details are going to be entered in that. And uh, you can read out login one gmail id preferred email id which is which you don't use a lot open linkedin uh, uh, dot com and try to log in using your second gmail account here all the details would be entered as per uh, the candidate uh, like uh, who is applying or uh, he will enter his details or uh, as per experience title location whatever he has and accordingly it would go to the next steps. Just make a note while you're watching the uh, video because it would be on very fast track. So like uh, when you'll be noting down so you can do the things for you, you can apply jobs for you accordingly. Here the, we are just creating LinkedIn, entering basic things and all, and then we are reaching to the page of jobs where we can apply. Here, I think it is almost ready. Now, after uh, like uh, getting full uh, LinkedIn account, what it, it has, it is going to be created in first go only. Like after that regularly, obviously candidate will use it. Now we'll start searching jobs. We'll enter uh, jobs uh, accordingly in search bar. It's, uh, like you, know, you can see these steps. I'm entering need to set up account for as per skill set. We are marketing like let's say I'm .NET and whatever skill set I do have, I'll do. And I'll set forwarding two years. Here, like from the second Gmail ID to first Gmail ID, I'm setting forwarding for me. And uh, because like every application which I'll be applying, will it would get response. So that response should go to my original email ID. If you don't know how to do, do that, so see that. And you can do, do that in that way only. Now I'll apply jobs. Like uh, I don't use, uh, do, I don't need to use second Gmail ID for the now in using LinkedIn. I will search .NET developer, clicking on jobs and uh, searching 24 hour jobs. And then according to the, uh, like my requirement, I'll make the filters in that so I can apply jobs for me. And uh, here, uh, let's say like contract positions, I'm looking or whatever it is like, you can uh, choose so many filters. And then first, as I told you, easy apply. So there would be the section in all filters now maybe like easy apply you will click on that and easy apply section will give you chance to apply jobs very quickly without asking so much details so when we are clicking uh, let's say like one or two jobs you can see how it goes just entering the number sometime and sometime it would ask one two details only nothing more than that so here application is going on This is something easy apply. Now we will do without easy apply. So easy, just we are just going to click on easy apply. It would be removed automatically. Then second things would come here in that. Only thing is that we need, we may need to fill up some details, some more details there. Like we'll be applying or sometime registration would be required. So like, let's say we are going to click any job in that way. Uh, this one, like let's clicking on this. It would open a new page here things would go step by step so we need to enter details and all it is some a little bit time taking so in this post it would it would do and now third one is going to be searching the post area we'll enter dot net developer after reaching to the home and uh, we'll click on the post and 24 hours and few, many posts would come so we'll click on the see more section and we need to have email extracted with us so we can extract the email IDs because we will copy this data. The CMO section would show the email IDs of the recruiters of maximum. And here we'll click as much as we can do. We should repeat this section of this post one uh, every three hours, I would say, because in three hours, we will 